Hello everyone, Alexman here, and welcome to another live play. We've got Super Mario Advance, Super Mario Brothers 2. How's everyone doing today? I figured as to take it a little bit easy over uh, over the extensive places we've had prior, and figured to do something that's a little bit easier, as it were. And I figure since um, Super Mario Brothers 2 on the NES is a little, I would say, dated by comparison, I figured to do the Game Boy Advance remake as the technically the first of the series. And Super Mario Brothers 2 was technically Doki Doki Panic in, in Japan. So they want to take that over and everything. So figure they just, you know, let's release this game because it's easier than Mario Super Mario Brothers 2 the Lost Levels. As the story of this game is, is that Mario basically dreamt up a storm sort of land where he just go up a stairway and found out that the inhabitants of Subcon are in trouble by a guy named Wart. And it's up to us, uh, as the Mario crew, to basically take Wart down. As we can see, we have four characters to play as. We have Mario, which has, you know, uh, no, no strengths, no great weaknesses. Luigi has weaker power and run speed, but he can jump really high. Toad can't jump mostly at all, but he has power and speed up the wazoo. And Peach, which has the weakest power and speed, but it has basically an average jump, but she can also float in midair. Oh, and we're gonna be a play as Luigi, huh? Yeah, let's give Luigi the, the limelight as first off here. So we got seven worlds to conquer, with only three levels of each, except for the seventh world, which only has two. And so, we gotta get used to the controls here again. So we got... Also, there's a lot of differences from the NES version to this version. Technically, the clouds here. The clouds here just are just here from the... Uh, not on the HD... Or not on the uh, NES version for some reason. Oh well. Totally having the most power is a joke. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. He can help. He can help out in sub in the subcon areas, and also there's a lot of weird gimmicks that make this more a Mario game than Doki Doki Panic could ever be. But just like in the, in the other in Super Mario Advance 4, there's the Advance coins. If you collect five of them in a stage, you do get an extra life, which is nice. And uh, there also you have hit points this time around instead of actually power ups. If you go inside a subcon area with a door like this, you can find a mushroom and select places. Which will increase your life meter for the rest of the stage. So that's that's nice. And people all thought, oh, Super Mario 3D World is the one that allows you to play multiple different characters. Nope! Super Mario 3D World took inspiration from this game. So, differences aside. <laughs> You could almost think that this is technically Super Mario 2D World. You could say that in, that's in its own right. But we also have the ability to lift up vegetables, like turnips and everything. Which again, why are you always turnips? Almost every other... It, it's like Animal Crossing in this has turnips you can throw. Like, I don't get the revenue of having turnips, but whatever. But we have enemies here that are... Ow. How did I get hit by that? That is so lame. I hit you! I hit you again! Oh, Take you down! Oh yeah, yeah! I got a life, that's good. Get enough people with the star man, you get a life. Enough said. There we go. Take care of you. We go in here. We also have these, like most of the enemies here are all brand new. So we have ninjas here. Which, uh, <laughs> which don't really do very much. That was a time clock? Means I can't get the one up there. Also, the timer stopped. Weird. Now, there is a shortcut you can take in this stage. If you go over here and actually get the bomb, you can go the... You can use the shortcut here to get to the end of the stage. This stage in particular. But, we figure we need to show off the majority of the levels if we see fit. Almost everybody I see always goes the shortcut route. They never go the real route. So let's go the real route for a change of variety. There we go. Take care of you. Here we go. I think the mushroom is right here. Let's go into subspace. Now grab this mushroom. Yes. 
Well, in subspace like this, if you pick up uh, the vegetables, or the plants, or weeds, or whatever you are, you can basically get extra lives. Ooh. Oh, yeah. There you go. Hey, yeah. There you go. Take you down like this. And so the lot of the lot there's again there are just a lot of changes from the NES version from this version. In fact, that there's just a lot more things to actually interact with. And we just and again I just like I want to do the the advanced version just because of you know it's it just looks better in my honest opinion. Like the NES version does have its charm and its placement, but you know this this game does it so much better in so many ways. And I wish this was—I wish it was this version they could have done the uh, Super Mario Maker 2 level design from. This would have been a great art style. Like it doesn't—it doesn't look like it doesn't look like you know Super Mario World, and it doesn't look like Mario 3. This would have been a really cool way of adding another style. But no, we got the NES version of this. <laughs> Ow! Keep fighting me! No! I don't like you. Die! There you go. I don't know why I'm having trouble with this. <laughs> I know Luigi does is technically a lot slippier than normal. He does have a a little he has butter underneath his shoes for lack of a better way of saying that. Oh come on! Oh no! I want to ride you so I can get that and so I can get that coin because I need as many lives as possible. Because knowing that these. Yeah! So that's what you get when you get all five coins. I don't think I'll be able to get all the coins in every stage. It only add, it only adds to a, to a counter at the bottom of every... Uh, I'm having a really hard time jumping on this thing. <laughs> Come on! I don't... Look, I'm not very good. <laughs> I don't have... Look, I put the wrong shoes on today. Okay? <laughs> okay. This... Oh. Also, if you hold down the B... You hold down the D-pad and jump... You can get the super jump, which allows you to jump twice as high whatever character you're playing as. Also, reintroduction to her, or it, or whatever she is. This is Birdo. That, um, you just need to grab her egg that she threw out of her mouth, and basically throw it back at her. Also, this version has added something different. If I can actually show this off. Come on. Okay, I can't pull off her bow off yet. There are certain birdos that we'll meet up later on that we can actually grab her bow and chuck it away. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Oh, you remember this, huh? <laughs> when I wake up, <laughs> I won't remember you. <laughs> I'm out of here. And there's a course clear. On bonus chances, how many coins we collect in the subcon is what we can use to upgrade or get more lives or a chance to. In this version, you can also increase the bet to make sure you get better lives out of the bunch. And I got one of the best edits. <laughs> I couldn't do this on my normal. I got now 15 lives. <laughs> Let's try again. Can I try again? Oh. Oh well. I used all my luck in one go. So let's show off Mario for the second level. Mario is basically as basic as it always is, so. You gotta. Ah! No! Go away! Don't let you! So we have this little bird thing. Like, really? Hey! You! Come back over here! So I can jump on you and take care of your flying thing! There you go. Hey ya! Gotta watch out for these monkeys which are flying in midair. Because they can just totally just ruin your day. Let me grab this thing here. There you go. Now I believe. Oh boy! Well, that was that was so close. Oh yeah, it's right here. There we go. Now this is gonna be an all all worlds playthrough, so I won't be using any of the warp panels that you can find in these stages. Also, the introduction of this key. It's called the cursed key, according to Mario Maker 2. But if you pick it up, this thing called fan this phantom mask or something will just basically haunt you down until you drop the key. So it's a little, it's a little, it's like a, he's like the only one jerk enemy you can see around the game. Oh, no, oh, it's a toilet. Oh, well, the bomb. There you go. It's all right there. We have bombs that we can now blow our way through. We also have sniffets. 
Like, a lot of the enemies we've been seeing around the Mario universe came from this game. So, like, the Sniffits, you know, Shy Guys, everything. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. And turn! Okay, good. That'll work. Get out of here. Okay, I'm not gonna... Oh, come on! Sniffits! <laughs> don't like you! I don't like you either! You are annoyed to get around! Right, never. Look, we got all those lies early. Oh, yeah, we can actually throw this 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 big old shy guy. If you chuck him enough times, he will actually just drop hearts on you by default. So, it's not bad for him to have that. And technically, this is technically one of the new enemies of this game. Ooh. Hey. I just this gray shy guy is annoying to just just come on now there you go die already are you gonna come back no you're not gonna respond okay good well, that was a waste of a bomb okay I need to check this bomb right here oh yeah Chuck this one down like that. Okay, that should be enough. There we go. Chuck that down. I think this is our potion. Here we are. Throw this potion down right here. I believe this is where our next mushroom is. There we go. I got my cherry there. Again, I've been earlier. Do you think this will be a one night session or are the levels long? The levels aren't too long, but sometimes they can be quite out frustrating. Yeah, we'll see what happens tonight, though. Oh, get it! Oh, I missed. Huzzah! And this, though, all those are not too long, but some of them can be real short. Like this one is actually pretty short, to be fair. But oh, it's going to go, huh? Well, let's fight! Aya, let's go! Hey, great your face! Oh yeah! You have no chance! I don't take you down! Oh yeah! Let's go there! Oh yeah! I should wake up now! Let's we'll see! Let's see if we get more lives and no, not lucky sevens. I need more lives. Ah Oh well. And nothing. Alright. So we're gonna try is uh see this one's actually gonna be our our boss fight. I am going to play as Peach this time. Peach is again basically the weakest of the bunch, but not just because, you know, you know, of, of obvious things. Not only that, you know, she doesn't get much action, so she's she's a princess. But, she does have like one of the most best abilities in the game, hovering. After holding the button, the jump button down after a while, she can actually, you know, float in mid-air, which actually can make some platforming a complete joke. Huzzah! Ooh, yeah, there we go. In fact, it's not- all the characters in this game have some sort of use. They're not useless. There's a time clock. Put you down like there. Oh yeah, see look at that. See that's how you can get over time. That's how you can get over small gaps like that. No. Take it down. Get away from me. Hiya! I think there's a potion here, but I do not think this is where the po the uh, thing shows up. I'm not sure it's where the hearts show up. I think it is? No, it's not. I don't know where all the mushrooms are, but I do know the majority of them. Apparently that's not it. Because if you use that potion- uh, ow. If you use a potion at this particular spot right here, this jar is actually a warp jar you can use to get into World 4, if you so choose. Ooh, the no, no, Peach, we don't- we're not going down just yet, we need to go up first. Oh, that would have been useful earlier, but whatever. 
All right, we have to go up first instead of going down. And so I let's see, take the shag out here. We have sparkers here, which are very annoying. They're electrical enemies, and they just love to just uh, you know, just go around whatever platform they're in. Which can be a very jerkish at times. There we go. Now I have enough platform to jump up this way. We can fly up these, we can climb up these chains is the easier way of getting around. If I just don't fall off the chain. Who did that? There you go. What's in this one? A jar. A potion. Now I gotta remember where this potion is. No! Peach! No! No! Okay. At least they have they gave you this, I guess, as a way to get around the idea you just fell to your death. And oh, it's over there. Not bad at all. And up we go. Oop. Ow! And that's what the sparkers do, they just ruin your vision for a split second. Now we have the phantom mass here. Get my heart back and let's get the cursed key and let's get out of here. Now we have to fall down all the way down to the bottom. Without getting hit. Well, technically if you do get hit, the key still stays with you. Just that if you drop the key, the phantom mask will basically just leave you alone. I believe in the NES version, if you were if you off screened it, it wouldn't show up for it wouldn't show up ever again. So you could technically cheese it in that version. Do, 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 do. And I do believe the mask can be killed if you know how if you if you do it well enough. There we go into this door here. Let's uh let's get the star man. Ba -ba -da. Take care of you. Now, I'm not sure if you can actually get a Starman into a boss arena. I have never seen it done, but it seems like you should be able to with how many cherries they give you here. Let's see here. Ow. Let's try it. Boss arena time. Go, 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 go. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, it just cancels out your. Yeah, it just cancels out your star man, which is annoying. And we have our first boss fight. This is Bowser. Not to confirm with Bowser. This is Bowser, and he's a and he has some sort of love for bombs, as that's the only weapon he chucks at him, which is again only his one weakness. You can basically grab. You, you can pick up the bombs he throws, or basically just chuck the bombs when you grab in midair. Which actually I think is actually more recommended because that means you don't have to waste time picking the bomb up with the animation. You can't pick them up if you so choose. Huh! I messed up. Oh come on, I missed the Bowser. Mm. Oh come on. Die already! Yeah! Hey What are there? See, Princess Peach is now completely cool. She can use <laughs> she threw bombs back at a mouse. <laughs> and that's it for World One. Do do. Do I get anything? No. Let's see what's the next level we get. Oh, we get bet times one up. Yay! Woo -woo -woo. Nothing. Off to World 2.